2002 Chrysler Town & Country. Customer complaint is a misfire. When I moved this vehicle over to this spot, I could feel it misfiring. I'm gonna make this one really quick, guys. Let me get you guys focused on the scan tool here. I'll use a desktop recording again. Got lots of glare. First thing I'll do, I'll let you guys see the trouble code in memory. Help if I turn the key on. See, we got a cylinder number two misfire. So what I'm going to do right away, because I feel a miss, is I'm going to look at the secondary ignition on this. I'm going to be using something called a WISE probe. That's W-Y-Z-E, I believe. I got this at um, AESWave.com is where I got that probe. I'm going to go right to my, my scope. And uh, the, my setup here, guys, just so we're on the same page, I'm using the ignition scope, which isn't necessary. You know, we could use the lab scope if we want to. The only thing the ignition scope does for the single cylinder test that I'm doing is the scales over here to the left are in KV instead of voltage. It's just a voltage conversion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna start the vehicle and let you guys see the waveforms on these different cylinders. Uh, just so you're, you guys are aware, I really don't feel a misfire right now. Vehicle runs pretty good. Um, history of the plugs and wires, these were done recently. Maybe two months ago. So we don't suspect a plug or wire problem, but let's take a look at these. Starting with the number two. So this is going to go two. This will be cylinder two here on this front one and then this middle one looks like that's two four and six and then we'll have you know one three and five in the back uh, companion cylinders would be one four two five three and six so this is my number two this is the one that's flagging the misfire what we want to look at I had to invert that what we want to look at is this area in here, the firing section, and then the spark line, which you can see that's a really bad looking spark line. Let's go down the line. I'm going to go to the number four now. This is number four and I need to, nope, I don't have to invert that yet. We gotta play around with trigger and invert because it's a waste spark system. That one looks good. That's a nice looking firing line, nice looking spark line. Go to the number two, four, that should be number six. I have to invert this. And again, nice looking firing line, nice looking spark line. Our concern right now is this number two. It's really bad. All right, so let's look at the companion cylinder. This is my number uh, five, let's see, two. Yep, this is number five. And we need to invert this. And I do not like that at all. Look at that, look at that spike. We need to increase our KV to see it. So we already know right away, within two minutes of looking at this vehicle, that we have a secondary ignition problem. That's over 50,000 volts. We don't have a clear defined spark line. Um, I wouldn't call that a complete open because if it was a complete open, I'd have a dead miss. And this thing's not misfiring, but there is an air gap in this plug wire. We could still, I guess, call it an open plug wire. And that's on the number five. Keep in mind, it had a number two trouble code, but it's actually its companion cylinder that, was, that has the problem. That is not uncommon. All right, let's look at the next one. This is either uh, three or one. I think this is cylinder one. Let's invert that. My trigger's up too high. Invert it again. This is all scope stuff here, guys. Move this line up. That's pretty decent looking. We'll lower the KV back to 30. Again, firing line, spark line, it looks good. And then last one, this is my number three. And I need to invert this to see it. All right, so you can see that that one's good too. So two and five are our issue. And really guys, honestly, it's the number five cylinder. Here it is one more time. I hear cracking every so often as I'm touching this thing. And did this just freeze on me? No, we're still going. Did my scope freeze? Yeah, that crack that I heard that made my scope not happy. I believe that was an arc to my to my lab scope. That's why you ground these probes. That's why there's a, there's a ground on this probe. It's 
invert that. There you see that pattern again. All right, so here's the question. Is it a plug? Is it the wire? It's a pretty simple test. We just move the plug wire, right? This doesn't always, isn't always easy, but it is on this vehicle. So I'm moving this number five plug wire. And these are new too. So it's kind of hard to make this call on new parts. I'm gonna move it to the number six up front because it's a short plug wire too. I'll put this number six plug wire in the back. And we could have swapped the two in the back, but these are really short wires. I don't know if they would have reached to the other one if I would have just swapped the two in the back. So this is my suspect plug wire. And we're gonna take our measurements now. That's now on number six. Let's start this back up. And then this is the one we want to focus on right here. This number six. And that is, that is not good. I just. That's definitely the plug wire. I mean, I'm concerned about putting my tool in here because it's, it's really arcing to my tool and then my scope. But there's that same pattern, guys, on my number six now. So that is definitely a bad plug wire. And then I'll show you the number three, its companion, which would be what we were looking at on the number two. You see that same horrible pattern. And the way we answer that, guys, is it's a waste spark system. You know, these, these two fire together. Cylinder six, cylinder three, they fire together. And cylinder three is being affected by this open plug wire now on cylinder six. So if we would have moved the plug wires and that pattern would have stayed in the same location, back on this number five back here then we would then we would go after the spark plug uh, with that kind of kv reading we're definitely not worried about the coil no question about it open plug wire you know how do you make that call without a scope if it was a dead miss you could find it you could do an rpm drop test and find the problem you know but uh without a scope how are we going to find this i don't know i mean you get lucky maybe now usually where we see these fail would be right at the ends. So I'm gonna pull this apart and see if I can see it. Not that it doesn't change anything for us. I just wanna eyeball this. Because normally when they fail, you'll see them fail like right in this area is where they'll be open. Uh, not the case on that one. Looks pretty, looks pretty bad up in here on the other end. That was it right there. That's where our problem was. It was this side. In fact, you know, that's definitely a de a defect in in uh in the manufacturing, I guess we could call it. Look at that plug wire. You know what why, why it's all discolored like that and burnt. Uh, I guess maybe what we could say is that arcing that was going on inside of there. So that was your bad plug wire. It's only two months old. So anyway, that's it. Open plug wire. Very easy to find with this little wise probe. We, we can use that on any ignition uh, or any scope. I've used it on the Vantage Pro, used it on my Pico, I've used it on the Varus, and it's effective on all of them. So pretty cool probe, hope you guys like that one.